before I start, I want to bring some small context of uh, Buchirka, uh, which is, had taken the initiative to uh, create this UNESCO local uh, center for collaboration. Uh, in, in the municipality of Buchirka, it's situated south of Stockholm. There's 90,000 inhabitants in the municipality, and the people who live there came from 162 uh, different nations in the world. And this is 194, I know, in, in the, that we know uh, as, as uh, nations. So this is a very diverse uh, mix of people uh, living there. And uh, <coughs> the municipality, which is not the only municipality in Sweden who had to deal with a sort of kind of hyper diverse situation in the, on the local level, there is also an, an, another municipalities or part of municipalities in, in, the, in Sweden to had to deal with it. Uh, so there are a trend nowadays, or not only in, in, in Sweden, but also in, in Europe, that the cities themselves and, and, the, and the municipalities themselves had a, a stronger need to work harder to, to manage integration issues than, for example, states. <laughs> so there is a lot of networks today uh, to so who want to, to give stronger support to, to cities and municipalities to do that. And the trend is, I think, uh, the, the, the national states also is more about borders around uh, the state, more or less. Uh, the idea of the UNESCO looks, we started 2014, is uh, to find uh, solutions for two issues. One is how to create an equal and cohesive local community or places free from racism and discrimination. It's very political things to, to put that into a, uh, a goal, but I think it's, it's uh, important today because there is a, a lot of racism in, in our society and also discrimination. We also want to develop uh, an intercultural and interreligious dialogue in order to build more sustainable uh, local communities. Uh, that's the, the idea of the UNESCO looks. I will come, and the, the links, there is a challenge, of course. There is a, a lot to find methods for strengthening uh, the social cohesion and enable sustainable intercultural communities free from discrimination again but also to explore and formulate and establish a new approach to integration. This new approach is uh, that there is a lot of places, Butchik is one of example, they can't use the national concept of integration in Sweden anymore, you know. So they had to make their own interpretation of integration in this hyper-diverse environment in the situation. So that's the, the important background for this uh, initiative of UNESCO Lux. <clears throat> and they also had a long experience uh, to work with social challenges. Uh, and uh, the experience is that they, they can't go alone as a municipality, for example. They had to collaborate much more with different partners. I will come back soon to that. So the needs of the, the platform is that we had to, to, to use UNESCO. UNESCO had a lot of uh, conventions uh, about diversity. Um, uh, there is a, a lot of good things in the UNESCO structure. Uh, but as you, I think all of us know that UNESCO speak between nations like this. You know, you, you they bring a lot of good things into uh, different states' uh, laws and uh, and the, the, the national states make an interpretation of, of UNESCO's uh, documents. But I think the situation today is that we had to bring UNESCO's concept uh, closer to a, a local level. And there is no tradition in, in Europe to do that. So we had worked for three years with the Swedish uh, UNESCO uh, organization to, to ask them to to set up this uh, local 
UNESCO structure, which is uh, operated on the, on the national level. Uh, so if we talk about local, because this is places in, in focus on the UNESCO uh, Lux platform. So the things that we, what we try to do is to establish this national knowledge network to find this collaboration between politics, local public administration, we, we, we combine them together, and uh, civil society and corporations and also uh, research communities. So we, we want to try to, to find out a new collaboration and, and a knowledge alliance uh, within, which is, which is important to say, and also between municipalities. So our method is knowledge. Everything starts with a, what we call a pilot project. Because when I talk about UNESCO, I talk about these uh, high political uh, goals against racism and discrimination. I think our brains go so far and up in, in, in the cloth, uh, some, uh, maybe. But I would remember you that everything we are doing is a very, uh, very, very concrete. So if that's have in mind that we are working pilot projects. So each project that we have created is organized, politically support with responsibilities, clarified and equally balanced between academia, civil society and corporations. And each project is, I think it's not so much money today in the UNESCO Lux organization. Uh, I think we, we go around uh, uh, during a year about uh, 600, uh, uh, thousand Swedish crowns, which is uh, uh, 600, 6,000 euro, and no, no, six, 60,000 euro, I think. So, but if you go to these pilots, knowledge pilots, uh, we, we talk about a lot of millions of crowns. It's so much uh, resources put into these uh, pilots. Uh, I will show you four examples soon. So when we do these knowledge pilots, uh, we are also contribute to the UNESCO's work uh, and help them to communicate also good results. This is a, a simple uh, description of the uh, the idea. We, you know, Swedish is Sweden is a, a welfare state with high ambitions. Still, I would say, and uh, when. When the, the politics see a problems, or the local administration has defined the problems that we have to solve, often they go to the research uh, environment, ask them for some advice, what they said the, the research uh, about this, the science, and they go back up to the political level again, and they take a decision, and they go from that. There is also another uh, way to, to work with politics. It's go to the civil society or to corporations, it's a lobby or a dialogue with them, and they encourage the politics to, to take decisions. And the decision came, but both ways, I think, is not always lead to a sustainable situation in the society. So the idea how in, in the UNESCO looks is to, to start every project that we are working with or had a combination of these three things that must be there in the knowledge pilot. Otherwise, there is not a, a knowledge pilot. You are not in the UNESCO Lux structure. So I will give you four examples that, we, that give you some idea of what kind of pilots that we are working with. At the moment, there are 13 uh, pilots that we are dealing with. Uh, so we are, I think we are st strongly work with realities and there's uh, very little or maybe no space for romantic views dealing with these integration issues on, on this level. The first thing is the anti-rumor campaign. I think every place has had a lot of, of rumors, which is bad. In Butchika, for example, there is a, rumors about criminality, incompatible cultures, unfair distribution of public resources and the treat to the Swedish culture. It depends that there's a wide middle class areas there, this is a uh, very diverse areas uh, on the other places, and you know, these areas don't communicate with each other in, 
in in a nicely way. So, but I think you can go in everywhere in 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 the European society. You can find uh, places with with bad uh, reputation or bad rooms. So we bring up this. We we are uh, educated. Thirty more or less thirty persons come from the civil uh, from the NGOs, which are in, who are interested to work with facts. Uh, and the researchers had, had worked a lot together with the, with the uh, uh, public administration or, and the, and the, uh, and the uh, NGOs representatives who are involved in this anti-rumor campaign to, to, uh, to educate them about these uh, uh, themes, which is very interesting to, to have. Them. And they, are go out, they go out in the society and uh, be involved in many discussions uh, to uh, have this um, meeting around, around these uh, rumors. There is an idea, come, this idea comes from uh, Intercultural City. Uh, the European Council worked with this uh, as a method, and I think it's, we have spread that in, in, in Sweden today. It's, it's interesting. The other thing is the, what we call a language friend. It's, I think the next speaker will talk about how to uh, engage uh, the civil society to, to work with, uh, in, in, in a way. They, we also call it, this is a, a language friend and also a, a refugee guide. It started in, in the Eskilstuna city in 2006 and now it's expanded to 120 municipalities in Sweden. I think the potential of scale is, is, is obvious here. And this is also interesting for the UNESCO looks to, to, to go from uh, small things and to, to scale it up to, uh, to others and to see how, if we can find a new um, result that can help us to uh, make a better content of the intercultural integration. So uh, the context makes life easier for, for many people. And uh, there is also potential for an intercultural understanding. And there, has been, this project has been used recently and evaluated by a research group, and they are very positive. And among many things, we can see that um, in, in this municipality, there is uh, 600 people who are uh, voluntarily involved in this meeting with new people coming to the city. More women are engaged, and also family meet families is also a part of this, which is is very nicely. The third uh, pilot is about power of pictures. You know, every uh, in Sweden we had minorities, historical minorities, uh, and uh, new minorities, and um, that is important to that we can read the how we picture them. Uh, so we had get a lot of money to work with, uh, uh, to, to create a web, an app, an exhibition, and teach material for schools, to work with uh, a very critical uh, view of how we, in our history, view uh, uh, different minorities. Uh, we will launch it, this uh, pilot, in March 2017, next year also. And the fourth and the last one, in the, as an example, is about equal health. This is a, an extremely successful pilot also. It starts with some equalities observed in the cancer prevent, prevention. The regional cancer center Stockholm Gotland working to improve equal access to cancer screening and care. We have built a uh, full capacity in, in the Stockholm area to handle the cancer screening. But when, the, when we evaluate the, uh, the capacity, we can see that there is a lot of women who are not there. Why? Uh, so that's the, uh, the, the uh, cancer center say, says that, like this, the challenges encountered in the project include issues related to language barriers, health literacy, and different culture or religious attitudes about cancer. So there are... Uh, they, they, don't, they, they think that they can't handle uh, their, their work. They are not 
they can't be so professional that they want to be. So they had to, to find out ways to, to reach people in the area to go, come to this cancer screening. So we created a, uh, uh, looking for, I think there was more than 40, 42 peer, uh, peer advices coming from, from different groups who participate during one year to help the uh, cancer center to, to communicate the importance of this cancer screening. It's, uh, it was really successful. And we can see the, the figures is coming up, going up uh, now in the, in the, the late measure that, we, that they, we had created. So it's to sum up, the, what we are doing is this project. We are working with seminars, workshops. We had a scholarship for, for young people who are interested in UNESCO. We, we, we send them to Paris uh, to, 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 to learn more about UNESCO. We had also created some events and also uh, published a research report. Here is the municipalities. There are two more members from the south of Sweden. They're from the housing companies, which is are much involved in, in, in local places. This is in Gothenburg and also in Halmstad. Here's the members. And I will, I said in, my, in the presentation, I said about something about football. I will end with that. You see Malmö FF is a member of this UNESCO Lux. It's the most famous football club in, in not in Scandinavia, I know, <laughs> but in, Swe in Sweden. Uh, I should be careful now. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, uh, uh, and they are involved in, in com combat races. They are making regional football tournament for young uh, girls and boys, and they had uh, a combination of this tournament and also education about races in football, to, to use football in that way. So that's very nice. They could, you can be involved in many ways. Uh, as, so. so I will stop there. I hope I give you some ideas of how you can work, and I think we need, of course, money from the state. We, 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 we love money, but the, the money is we had some what you call a, a Berlusconi economy uh, in UNESCO Lux. You know, small money, official, <laughs> but in the, in the structure, in the pilots, is a lot of money in there. Because every member takes the responsibility, as we heard from the festival, to also operate with their own resources. And there is a lot of resources in the Swedish society. Thank you. Thank you very much.